Here we have an illustration of a t-shirt and you can see that on the right side I've placed a few curves which represent folds in the material and a bit of shading shows you how the light is going around. This makes the t-shirt look a lot more three-dimensional, a lot more real and adds a good level of depth to your work. Now I'm going to show you how to do it on the left hand side here from scratch. So the first thing to do is going to create a new layer. So create a new layer, double click and I'm going to name this folds. With the rulers out, you want to make some construction lines to help you do things. I've done this previously, so guides, show guides. And all you do is just go from the uh, ruler, left click and drag it in. Now I don't need that one, so I'm just gonna delete, gonna undo that. So I've made these, and these are just gonna help me um, create my piece. So, fold selected, I take the curvature tool and click once click twice, click three times, and then press escape to get out. And that's taking it roughly to where I want it to be. I can then take my direct selection tool and zoom in, and with spacebar pressed, left click, I can just drag around the screen. So I'm gonna select my line, just take that point, and make it hit where I want to hit. So nice and simple. If I now view, fit our bottom window, you can see it's not quite the same. I'm going to change the, uh, the definition, the profile. So I select my path and change the second one, make a nice little curvature. You can see that my one hasn't got quite the same profile as one on the right. To fix that, we just take the anchor point tool and I'll zoom in to make this a bit clearer and I'll hide the layers. Just take this, hover over, left click, and just pull in. You can see how you can really pull the line around. I just want to have a slight different profile, just around there, a bit of a wiggle. Now, I can take my direct section tool here, select this one, and just kind of pull him back, just there, stop him going over to the same, just there. So very small modification. Now I've got a fold. Now I'm not going to do the same on below because it's just the same process. But right now we haven't got that lovely gradient that really does make a big difference. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So Windows, Guides, Hide Guides, just get rid of them. And now we've got to add that gradient. So with the Direct Selection tool, we can select that line and go Windows, Appearance. Now this brings up this menu here. and We've got a fill which is nothing. So if we click on that, we can go drop downs. And I know I've already got a gradient one here called Fade to Black, but I'm gonna show you how to find this. It's very simple, just on the swatch libraries on the bottom left, left click, and there's lots of different things here. You've got gradients, and then got fades, click on that, brings up a whole menu, and here we have one called Fade to Black 2. If I just, um, oops, <laughs> try it onto your piece is not the best. By clicking that, it'll appear there. Now, as you can see, that's not quite how I want it, so we've got to make some changes. Firstly, on the left here, we have the gradient tool, which is a really useful tool for this kind of work. Put the periods down there. Just click on the tool, and ignoring the lines there at the moment, just take from the back there, and draw a line, you can really go where you like, but you want to take it about 90 degrees to this straight line. Stop just before, it's about there, and release. Now what it's done is it's gone from complete black all the way to nothing, so it's faded in. Not quite there yet, so I'm gonna change the opacity to darken, and also the blend mode to darken, and take the opacity down to, let's try it, 70%. Now, you can see what this has done, it's made it more subtle, it blends in more. If that's too extreme, just take this down to a smaller amount, maybe uh, 58, press enter, and there we have it. So, now added a layer of dimension to that. Now that's still too extreme, it's fine, but it's selected, windows, appearance. Let's take this right down a little more. There we are, so 50% seems to be the magic number on this side. So that is how to 
draw a nice fold into a garment and then add a gradient 